In New Jersey, crime tape surrounds a horror story in a suburban community tonight. A family of four found dead, a mother, a father, two children. News Force Pat Battle is live in Union with the latest on this investigation. Pat? Yeah, Chuck, folks coming home to this normally quiet street, Lindhurst Terrace here in Union, to the sight of flashing lights, police cars, and the horrible news that that family of four was found dead in their home here in Union earlier this morning. Neighbors telling me that they were a lovely family, a mother, father, and two little girls, grade school age girls. They don't believe the children were older than 10 years old. But tonight, investigators trying to figure out what happened inside 1329 Lincrest Terrace. As they walked in this morning, sheriff's officers came to serve an eviction notice. That was the report that came out earlier today. They came to serve an eviction notice when no one answered the door. They went inside and found that family dead. One neighbor telling me they'd lived here for 15 years and they were incredible people, lovely people. So hard to wrap your head around how someone could take the life of their entire family and then their own life, which is what investigators are trying to figure out tonight. They've been in and out of this house all day long since about 10 o'clock this morning when those bodies were discovered. At this point, the Union County Prosecutor's Office has taken over this investigation. They're being assisted by Union police and, of course, the medical examiners on scene, the sheriff's office as well. But as of yet, they haven't released the identities of the people inside. We did check the tax records and understand that this house was sold at a sheriff's sale back in November for $322,000. The family that lived here should have been out of the house. They had about 60 days to leave the house or be evicted. And apparently, when those sheriff's officers showed up here today, well, they were still inside, but they were no longer living. It is awful news on this block. People have been trickling by all day long, wondering and just in shock at what happened here, a tragedy to say the least. I'm reporting live from Union tonight. I'm Pat Battle, News for New York, turning it back over to you.